we're premiering a new format on today's podcast. Our editor, Brian, and Felix, the musician behind all of our music, are going to quiz me by asking questions using content from previous episodes of the Seattle Bird Podcast. Listeners can play along also. Okay, here we go. There are going to be five questions, but we're going to start with a bonus question. This is question zero. For this new knowledge quiz segment, which of these names do you like best? A, who wants to be a dollar bird? B, Jep Bird D, or C, Quiz Bowl of Delicious Seeds? I think Quiz Bowl of Delicious Seeds is the best. All right, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, well, for your first question, uh, you need to name the three wrens common to the Seattle area. Um, okay, I know it's Buick's wren and Pacific Wren. Oh, but there's one more. Yeah, I don't know. What Wren am I missing? So you got Buick's Wren and Pacific Wren, right? Uh, and the one you were missing was Marsh Wren. Oh. Red-winged blackbirds are pretty noisy birds. According to author Jennifer Ackerman, what does it indicate when they get quiet? I have no idea. Ooh, it means danger is nearby. Huh. Danger is nearby. All right, Felix, you're up with question number three. Okay. What bird is this? This bird is well known for faking injuries. They often fake a broken wing to avoid predators from eating the eggs from their nests. The predator will choose to chase the bird that appears injured. What is this bird? I know this one. It's a killdeer. Oh, is that, is that right? We're just waiting for the music to finish. Yes, it is correct. Killdeers are known to do that. Okay, question four. House finches vary in color from region to region. For example, they're red in the Seattle area, but a bright yellow in the Southwest and Hawaii. Why? Uh, I think it was because um, they have a different diet. And that is... And that changes their pigment. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. They get the color from pigments called carotenoids. They modify these pigments to create the color in their feathers. All right, last question coming up. The state bird of Alabama is known as the yellowhammer. What is the name for this bird here in Seattle? You can ask for hints. Um, is it the state bird of Washington? No. No. Okay. The yellow is a bit of a misleading... I see. I see where you got that from. Yeah, but the hammer part is the part you might want to focus on. Think about what it might be hammering... Oh, is it a woodpecker of it, some sort? It, it is. is. Yes. Is it a sap sucker? It is, it is. Not, it's no, not a sapsucker. No. Is it true woodpecker? It's a woodpecker, I think. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a northern flicker. Oh. That's all we have time for today. I think the conclusion is I should listen more to my own podcast. Episodes 1 through 10. Yeah. Oh, wait, these were exclusively from episodes 1 through 10. I think so, yeah. I think you guys should re listen.